Welcome to Sumerix. The following presentation demonstrates how to change the settings configured for a steady state simulation to a transient simulation in both Sumerix MP and Pumplinx. When modeling flow fields associated with turbo machinery systems, one usually runs it as steady state as a first approximation to establish the system's main characteristics such as the mean pressure distribution and velocity field. This provides the investigator with the main relevant flow quantities such as the head loss, mass flow rate, rotor torque and power, which can then be used to calculate efficiencies, loss coefficients, and other performance characteristics. Next, the system is modeled as transient using the steady state solution as initial conditions. This will reveal the dynamic features of the flow field, such as the pulsatile nature of the mass flux through the system. When switching from steady state to transient in Sumerix MP, the following steps are required. First, the non-inertial frame for rotating parts must be deactivated. The non-inertial frame accounts for the additional body forces due to the rotation in a steady state run. But for a transient run, the body forces occur intrinsically in the simulation since the rotor is actually moving relative to the volute. Next, the volume remesh algorithm must be activated and the associated parameters specified. The rotating wall boundary conditions for the rotor remain the same as for a steady state run. Next, you select transient in the common module and specify simulation time number of time steps, and result saving frequency. Finally, before launching the solver, we make sure that we have picked start from solution so that the steady state solution is used as initial conditions. Let's take a look at how you calculate the time step related parameters in Sumerix MP. In this case, the rotor will be spinning at 4000 RPM, which is around 66 revolutions per second. We'll assume that it becomes periodic after about 6.6 .6 revolutions, which is one tenth of the 66 0.6 revolutions per second. So the simulation time or duration will be 0.1 seconds. To properly resolve the transient behavior, we'll want between 1 and 1.5 degrees of rotation per time step. So for 0.1 seconds, we get 6.6 .6 revolutions, which is 2400 degrees. So this means we'll need 1600 time steps. And the saving frequency, if we save every 50 time steps, that'll give us 32 results files. These files can get fairly large, so you don't want to save too often, and it also slows down the simulation process if you save too often. Here we see the blower model in Sumerix MP, which was built in CF Turbo and exported into Sumerix MP, where it was automatically meshed and the CFD parameters specified as a steady state simulation. And this has already been run, so we have results here. Now we're ready to switch the simulation type to transient. First, let's go to the common module and change the time definition to transient. Now let's specify the time step related parameters. The simulation time or duration as we calculated before is going to be 0.1 seconds. The number of time steps will be 1600 and we're going to save every 50 time steps. So let's pick the impeller volume and deactivate the non-inertial frame. Also under the common module let's activate the volume remesh. By default, the method is uh, rotation, which is what we want. Put in the RPM as 4,000. The rotational center is 000, which is right. That's right at the center here. And, the, and it's rotating about the z-axis. So we'll go to the simulation panel, and we see that all the parameters in here are correct. We're a transient run, and we're starting from the steady state solution. Let's save this under a different name, and let's launch the solver. You can see it moving with each time step. I'll skip ahead to the results. And here are the results. You can see the mass flux is balanced. The inlet flow is equal and opposite to the outlet flow, the sum of which is zero. So mass is being conserved. Convergence looks good. On the torque and power, it's, it's periodic, but it's a little bit choppy here. That's to be expected. Next, I'll show you how to change a steady state run to transient in pump links. Here we are in pump links with the same blower model. We go to the centrifugal module, and in the properties panel, we change the simulation method from steady to transient. And we see here that the number of revolutions is 7, times time steps per pocket rotation is 19. And we can see we have 13 blades, and our RPM is 4,000, and it's rotating about the z-axis. 
In the simulation panel, you can see that the number of revolutions is 7, iterations is a default of 50, simulation time or duration is 0.105, number of time steps we have at 1729. So now we're, we'll start from solution, so from the steady state solution, and we're ready to launch the solver. As you can see, very little needs to be done in PumpLinks to set up a transient run compared to Sumerix MP. In Sumerix MP, you have to deactivate the inertial frame, activate volume remesh, and calculate and enter the transient parameters related to the time step. That's because the centrifugal template in PumpLinks automatically takes care of all this for you, which is one of the advantages of PumpLinks. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or are interested in related videos. If you would like a demo of Sumerix MP or PumpLinks using your device, let us know and we'll make the necessary arrangements.